well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and we are now back for part three of our tokyo dark story and we're gonna figure out what is ailing us and to see what is going on because i i have a sneaky feeling this is like all in my head but i don't think so because a lot of things turn out to be not what they expect so let us get right down to continuing with this amazing investigation and how is your Friday doing? I think let's I think it will let us continue. Hello? Okay. It's a bit slow. I think we're back here in Akiva. Uh, no one seemed to know anything about Reina, but every time I brought her up, I heard the same name over and over. The Collector. It was the only clue I had, and I knew that if I was going to go any further in the case, that was the thread I need to follow. Okay, so we need to go find, I figure out where she is, but I uh, know I don't think we can go any further down this road. I don't know, maybe we can. I don't think so, no. Okay, didn't the, the lady at the arcade said I must come back and talk to her friend. Okay. okay so the arcade is over here. The lack of music vibes. Do, 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 do. Yep, their friend is now back. How's the girls about the collector? Hello again. This must be your friend I heard about, right? Uh, yep. But if you open your eyes, literally two seconds, you'll see we're a little busy right now. Go away. Wow, they're super rude now to me. Stop. Push for the information. Ask what's wrong. Ask what's wrong. What's wrong? I, I, I don't know you. What do you, do you care? If you tell me what happened, maybe I can help. She's fine. One of her customers is an asshole, that's all. <clears throat> customers? Don't look at her like that. It's not that, uh, it's not what you think. I work at one of the KJ cafes around here. They want high school girls in uniform to serve food and play games and stuff. Nothing weird. Usually the customers want to hold my hand or pretend to be my teacher. Sometimes they buy me things, it's harmless. It doesn't bother you that these customers want to hold your hand? I know mostly middle-aged men. Hey, don't know her. Don't act all high and mighty just because you're older. It's better than working in some shitty restaurant or convenience store. Fine, you're right. I can't judge you, but obviously something isn't working out if she's crying like that. I already told you, one of her clients is an asshole. Right? Don't you tell me what happened. I don't get him. He was nice to me, but then I said I wouldn't go in the dirty sewer with him and he snapped. He threatened me and told me I was an ugly little girl. Wait, Becca, did you say he tried to get you into a sewer? This is the fat, disgusting old pervert. I never want to see him again. He was so nice before. I would hold my hand and say, pretty I was, why you... Why would he say all these things? Fat pervert, who goes into the sewers, yep, there's no doubt about it. This client of yours, I know him. You know him? Make, sit, uh, make, what, make him stay away from. In fact, make him stay the hollow out of a fever. Before you, before you said you wanted to know about the collector, right? How about this? You make it so me and never have to see the fat four-eyed perfect face again and we'll tell you everything we need to know. Well, do you have a deal? Oh, we can do it. Do a deal. If we're dealing with who I think we are, then I'm more than happy to help out. Really? Thank you. Um, I think I heard him say that he's heading to a club in before he left for the train station. Now we know exactly which club he is going to. Okay, well, let's us head out of here. We know exactly which place he's going off to. His usual place over there. I don't know, I could travel to the police HQ. I just don't know what trouble I'm going to get into by going there. I don't know my apartment. But I don't know if I should be heading back to get my pills. Wait, what is my sand professionalism stuff? 
My sanity's okay. I don't know. I could probably go back and get some Tabalinos. Oh, he's probably inside the Butterfly Club. It's normally where he hangs out. Oh crap! You know, you're bad for business. Don't worry. I'm not planning on staying long. Where's Goto? Goto? You sweet on him all of a sudden now? I'm not messing around. You've seen him? So yeah. Saw him outside the bar 15 minutes ago. Where was he heading? Where do you think? Towards his favorite love spot with some little thing in tow. Believe it or not, I, do, I didn't think to follow him beyond that. Better be quick. With all these cops hovering around, I doubt he'll stay there for long. Okay, cool. So we know what he's up to. Or what he's going to be doing down there in the sewer. So let us make a beeline. For the sewer. And try to stop whatever freaky freakiness stuff is going down in there. I hope I don't have to unsee anything. Oh, here we go. Oh, if it isn't my favorite detective, suppose I should thank you. Ever since that night, this place got more of a dangerous appeal. <laughs> detective? You called the cops? I'm getting out of here, you creep. This bitch was pretty prude anyway. Would barely let me touch her. You're not a prude though, are you? Now that we're alone, why don't we start from where we left off? Don't look at me like that. She's 16, old enough to know when she what she wants. As adults, we do whatever we want, right? Yo, this guy. Please can I kill him, please? Can I shove him down the hole? The sewer, another stand-up. It's a it felt so similar. Breaking the law, shoot him, threaten. Guess I should be grateful that you haven't broken out, broken out the rope yet. First I warned you about trespassing, then I find you here again with some girl and says you've been harassing her. You've been following me, huh? Didn't realize she liked me that much. It's okay, detective. I know why you really came and found me. No one will disturb us down here. <laughs> You are disgusting. How many students have you arrested and lured down here? Like I said, I like them young. Yo, please. I don't know, I don't want to shoot him though. Because that's going to cause cock. I'm not sure why you're laughing. Harassment and stalking of minors is a crime. And one that I'm sure your company wouldn't appreciate being public knowledge. If I catch you in the sewer game, or catch you even a whip for stick around, Akiba. I'm gonna bring you in myself and make sure everyone knows, got it? Ha, uh, settle down, let me just talk this to Money, you cops aren't paid him much, right? Fine, but your superiors will hear about this. Even though he was an idiot, Goto probably knew that I didn't have a strong case against him, nothing that would have landed him in jail anyway. All I could have hoped for is that his need for maintaining appearances compelled him to stay away from Akiba long enough to for me to get the information I needed. Okay, cool. So that looks like there's nothing else in here to do, so we can actually exit. We kept that pretty, pretty professional. You know, we could have just shot him, but that's not the way. Law, the law works around here. So we got ourselves. Can we actually go to our apartment? No, we can't. We can travel to the police station though. And we can travel to a keeper. So I don't know, travel to the police station. I don't know if that's gonna cause me any trouble. So let us travel to a keeper again. Uh, let's go get our information on the collector if those girls are still inside the club or in the arcade place. Oh, you're back. You don't look so good. I'm fine. Go to one, be giving you any more trouble. Seriously? How do you go and convince them to stop? That doesn't matter. Forget them. Jeez, remind me not to get on your bad side. I guess we owe you, huh? Not if you hold up your end of the deal. Tell me everything you know about this collector. He knows everything, so I got this theory right. I think he's some sort of hacker, shutting himself in a room day in, day out. Having all this kind of dirt must be great though. Not to mention he must be loaded. The collector isn't interested in money. Hmm. If you didn't pay him, then how did you get the picture? You tell her. I told you this was private. 
Well, since you know anyways, when the client starts following me home, I was desperate, so I asked the collector for something that would help him stop bothering me. In exchange, he asked for only one thing. Oh lord, what was this one thing? What did he ask for? I used to carry a photo of my dad on me all the time. He died when I was seven years old, and I never told anyone I had it. Somehow he knew. In exchange for the photo, he gave me the incriminating photo for free. What choice did I have? I was scared, but... But what? Ever since then, I feel like I forgot, I forgot my dad's face a little bit more every day. It gets more and more fuzzy. Why don't you go back and get it? Your shop is right under his, under this, uh, what, under this cage. You can't just go there though. An elevator, but I never found him again after that day. The elevator doesn't work normally. I tried, you know? Just you see. He controls and leaves a sign that turns on. What? You never told me that. I didn't want to go after him. He's dangerous. Listen, I appreciate everything you did for me, really. But don't go after him. Something, something isn't right with him. I appreciate the concern, but there's no need to worry about me. I'm sure I'll come up against a lot worse than him. Look for the three paper cranes hanging from the elevator. If you see them, you'll be able to go down. That's all I can tell you. Thanks, stay safe, you too. Okay, well, we got that. Huh? Was that a paper crane there before? Okay, so we got one paper crane there currently, so we can't currently go in the elevator yet. Okay, so let us see. Can we go to our apartment? No. Let's head off to the police station to see. I don't know if we can do anything there. We'll probably get turned away or we're going to get into car or get arrested. I don't know. So let's have a look. See. Talk to Sake. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here before someone notices you. I saw what you did. Pulling an alarm, sneaking into the evidence locker. Did you honestly think I wouldn't notice? Lucky for you, I'm the only one that noticed. I'm not going to tell anyone, but seriously, what the hell are you thinking? You've always been so nice to me. You covered for me. I owed you. I owed you, so now we even. Wait, no. You owe me big time for this. Big time. I'm not going to ask you why you did what you did for, for once. I don't think I want to know. My opinion, get some help, whatever you're working through, instead of pulling crazy stunts like this, like that. Anyway, I can't let you into the building, not my call, that came from Yukimaru. He said not to let any non-active officers in the building. I don't think he knows, but you need to be more careful, okay? Okay, well, we can't do anything further in the police station. Okay. So... We've got to figure out how to get the crane, the more cranes to be put on the door. So let's see. Okay, so that's, you can't do anything there, I can't do anything there. There's only one crane on the door currently. So let's see what else we can come up with. Well, we can, we can enter here, but there's not much to do, I don't think, within here. You can ask about the collector, but I think that's it. Back so soon? Hi. I was hoping to ask you about the dressmaker you mentioned earlier. Oh, well, she's here, but well, the thing is, I don't think she'll be able to talk. Something powerful has happened. It's really bad. How bad are we talking? Mommy mental. Oh. I can't with this. The perfect storm of soul crushing existent dread. Okay, can I help? So kind of, maybe she'll talk to you. Wait, here, yeah, one moment, please. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, okay. You are right. I heard something bad has happened. Maybe I can help you. Sniffle. I, I, I don't think I could ever talk about it. Every time I think about him, I just want to go into the back and cry. Try and relax. I'm a police officer. I'm sure I can figure out a way to make you make this better. Police? Well, it's it's Samuel. Samuel? Who's he? A distant relative of yours? A boyfriend? Did he hurt you? Run out of run out with your money? 
Samuel Cuddleworth, my best friend, he's missing. Samuel? Cuddlesworth? Oh, I think I see what's happening here. He, her ultra rare one of a kind kitty plush. Mistress, these things don't grow on trees, you know. <sighs> a teddy bear? He lost a teddy bear? A plush, Samuel's Cuddlesworth was not a teddy bear. He was an ultra rare cat plush. Oh, cruel world. Hideous of the cosmos has laid bare before my very eyes. Why did I think you would understand? No one understands. I'm all alone. We're all alone. Then we die. Stop. Oh, I hate seeing her like this. I don't think she'll be much of use to society until she finds a replacement for her beloved Cuddlesworth. Thank you for listening. Wally here wants some pancakes. I'll find the plush. Listen, I can't promise I can't promise you a rare of a um, plush of Samuel Cuddles snipe, but I can find something alright. Cuddlesworth. Cuddle Samuel Cuddlesworth. The second was removed actually. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, there's one of those little kitty cats. Okay, so that is that. Now I gotta look. There's another one there. And maybe in the cat place? I don't think so. About the collector you mentioned earlier. The cat breeder. Um, yeah, sure. But now's not a good time. Somebody keeps throwing up and pooping a lot. I'm worried he is really sick. I don't know what to do. When did it all start? Yesterday his tummy seemed a little upset. But I didn't think much of it. But this afternoon he really started to um, explode. If you can catch my drift. Sorry. I don't get it though. Nothing in his diet has changed. That doesn't... that does sound odd. What's, what, what do you eat normally? Well, you know the usual stuff. You're joking, right? No, of course not. Why would I joke about that? You can't feed a cat. Of course you can. In the wild, cats eat fish right out of the streams. It's the same thing. That's not exactly the same. I have a cat and... And I bet you feed it store-bought foods with extra vitamins and minerals added in, right? Well, yeah. Ah, sucker. You bought, you bought right into corporate lies about pet health. Kitties can't be healthy eating the chemicals. What? Sp chemical what? What now? Well, my cat's also not puking everywhere, so... Sorry, I guess you're right. Um, I got a little carried away there. I didn't mean to be rude. Especially since you were trying to help. That's alright. Your cats do seem pretty healthy. Was there anything different about today's lunch offer? Now that you mention it, I usually order one box. The sushi vendor next door, but the last few days I've received two boxes. I didn't realize, I, I didn't really think about it until you mentioned it. Ooh, what do I do? Say, you don't seem bu too busy. Why? Why don't you seem busy? I'm, I am busy. I'm very busy. Do I have a face that says, please give me errands? Well, no, but... You're a fellow cat lover and you seem nice. It would only take a second to talk to Sochi, honest. I would, but I can't leave the store. I can't even think about the ca cat collector or anything else until this is mine. Please, go talk to him. Okay, so now I get it. We have to do three little tasks. Three tasks and then he'll put up the little thingies probably. Alright. I'll have a chat with Sochi and see what he knows. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, well, let's exit here. I don't know who, which vendor we have to go talk to. I don't know. Probably this dude here. Hi, right? I was wondering if you could set me up between lunch orders. Maybe twice a week or something. Yep, that's not a problem at all. We do all kinds of things for a lot of businesses around here. Why do you ask? 
I was one, I was just at the cat cafe next door and saw one of your boxes. And work's moving me here in a few weeks, so I thought I'd see what my options are here. You came to the right place, huh? He had a stunning, stunning order with me for years. I'm surprised a woman so small can eat two whole boxes. Two boxes? No. Her, her order is only for one. If she was ordering two, I'd suspect she was feeding it to her cat. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. Anyway, do you normally deliver them yourself? Right next door, and very sweet lady. Let's try to do it perfectly. That said, when it gets a bit hectic, I ask some of the other regulars around here to run it up instead. If you see, make sure you give her my regards. I try to go up there next time. So about the standing order, you want to set up? Oh, I need to think about it a little bit more. I'll get back to you later. Thanks for the help. A little sketchy maybe, but definitely not a cat poisoner. Finding who supplied the second box should lead, should lead me to a suspect. I have a sneaky feeling I know who it could be. You wouldn't catch me dead in a place like that. I hate cats. Every time I see one, they try to scratch me. What do you have for lunch? Hmm, that's a weird thing to ask. I got a box lunch from the convenience store. What? It could, could possibly be this dude that works at this place, maybe. No, no, I don't like cat. I've had you, I understand. What do you have for lunch? Lunch? I'm not interested, thank you. Maybe this dude. Yeah, sure, they're alright. I used to have a cat growing up. Why are you asking me on a date, lady? When I'm on the clock, I usually get a box of sushi from Sochi's down the street. Hmm. It's tough. You don't want to accuse the wrong person. Oh god, you have to pay to get another pet key cat for this lady, I guess. Oh, do you have to actually play it? This is what she wants. No, I don't want that one. I think there's like a certain technique to it. Oh, and when he hits the top number, he falls off. Picking up like that. Okay, so I organized the kitty cat plushie now for the ladies. She's beautiful! Where did you find her? I deemed your countess Belinda Fluff and stuff. Thank you. Lady Belinda isn't Samuel, but I suppose one will learn to move on for these things. Wow, that was quick. Anyway, since you feel better, can you please tell me what you know about this collector now? Of course, mistress. I heard she's fashion design in France and then came to Japan. She knows everything there is to know about Akiba fashion. She's designed the maid costumes I have right on now. She didn't ask for money. Strange. How did you find her? Well, you probably won't believe me, but I spend a lot of time outside here promoting the cafe. Sometimes I notice the signs would flicker, the, the images on them would change. I can see from the mistress' expression that she does not believe me. It's true, I swear on my nine lives. She shows you what you want this on the sign, like 
an invitation to trade. Then, when the sea pepper cranes are outside her shop, you go down and she shows you what she has. Her taste is impeccable. She never wrong. Listen, I get that the maids are supposed to play along with fantasies and all, but this is kind of hard to swallow. But it is true. Supposedly she got a local computer hacker type to give her access to some sort of signs in the area remotely. I think the other shop owners here don't mind because it only happens occasionally and the stores probably bring in more business than the signs themselves. And I'm missing something here. Does she know what you want? You're supposed to be a detective, not me. I bet she's got webcams everywhere so she can see what the girls are wearing and try to bait them in. It's a small group of people, you know. That rumor to begin with? Anyway, it's like subliminal advertise me, yeah? Hmm, what's wrong? No, it's not like that. It's not like what? The stress. The one she made for me, it was exactly what I wanted. The bells, the stretching, everything, down to the last detail. Everyone always assumed I had it commissioned. But I never told anyone that the truth because I was scared. Somehow she knew exactly what I wanted and all she asked for in return was an old handmade dress my mother and I worked I made together. An amazing deal, right? But sometimes something wasn't right about her or her shop. I mean, who has a shop that's four levels deep in a basement in a room with no other customers? I feel like some sort of criminal even though all I was doing was getting a dress. And you know, that dress, the one I gave up, it was cheap, the, stretch, the stitching was so poor, and there was patches all over it from all the times I had to repair it. Despite all that, I wish I never given it away. Sometimes I think I should try and get it back, but the truth is I'm afraid to. I don't want to go back down there. Snuff. Ah, uh, sorry. I kind of got a little serious there. That's everything I know, though. Thanks again for getting me Lady Bel Belinda. No problem. Don't go losing her now. Okay, well. We sorted that out. Problem is, who is the person that killed the cat? Or was poisoning the cat? See, I don't want to accuse the wrong person. Okay, and I don't think you can go further this way, right? No, you can't. Suspect one, but also the guy that owns the, the, the bookstore could be a suspect. The tourist wouldn't come all the way from overseas to come poison the cat. And this guy likes cats. So I don't think it's him either. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get any answers out of this place anyway. Well, we can't talk. 
the guy that, that, that my suspect is on who, who's poisoning the kitty cat, right? So we got three suspects. This guy seems like it could be him, but I don't know. What did he have for lunch? He's the only one that had that thing. So if I accuse him, I don't know. Well, huh? How? How are you? Wait, wait, wait. It's not what you think. Oh, so it was him. I in the apartment above her, and the furballs are always yelling at night. The nut job owner gives them headlines, so I added some laxatives to it. Little laxatives? The poor freaking cat! I wouldn't seriously hurt them or anything. A little clean up is a fair payback for her cats keeping me up all day after day. That woman's ruining my damn life and doesn't care. I know I'm not the only one who thinks that either. She should have. Glad it was me who taught her a lesson and not someone else. Alright, fine, I get it. You were at the end of your rope. Thing is, I'm kind of a cat person and I'm a kind of a cop. Consider this a warning. That's fine. Whatever you say, lady. Mark. Uh, see, now there's two cranes there. So, which means when we finish off this cat one, we should, in theory, get the third crane to get us out the doorway, right? I don't know, right, wrong. We don't know. Well, let us tell her what's going down. This may not be a surprise to you, but your upstairs neighbor isn't your biggest fan. That little rat, what did he do? Is Tomo going to die? If he does, I'm going to wring his little neck. No, no, it's only some laxative in the food. I think he wanted to ruin your day, not to harm your cat, seriously. Oh, thank goodness. So I'm, so I'm so relieved. If it's laxative, Tomo should be fine in the next day or two, once it clears out of his system. What a little scumbag. What's his problem? He mentioned that the cats have been keeping him up at night, a few weeks of that, and anyone might crap. You're right. I'm so used to it, I didn't notice, but I'll get a con what? contractor to come out and see about finding soundproof in this place. Tomo, you nearly made my heart stop. I'm glad you're okay. Now that one is you behind us, could you return to our a discussion about the collector? Of course. I'm only visited her once. I wanted to add something very rare Balinese breed to the cafe after searching for weeks. And I was convinced it was nowhere to be found in Tokyo. Just when I was giving up, I got an email out of the blue from her saying she had the breed I was looking for to come to her shop. Suffice to say, I was ecstatic. Business, business was doing alright, so I had some spare money, money to spare too. Only, only she didn't want money. She wanted Panda. Huh? She wanted a Panda? No, Panda was the name of an old cat I had. He was nothing special, an old mixed breed who moved to Tokyo with me when I was starting up. I doubt I would have started this business if it wasn't for him, but he was also really old and having health problems too. The collector said she'll take him, give me the best medical care and feed him the best food. Panda's last days would have been complete comfort. In exchange, she would give me the Balinese cat kitten for free. I thought it was the right thing to do. But Panda was family. What kind of person am I to give him away? I miss him so damn much. I try to go back and give the kitten back for Panda, but the three cranes outside of the shop were gone. 
and I never saw her or Panda again. That's alright, I remember. Something re remembering Panda always made me sad. Thanks for the help, I, uh, I should get back to work. Okay, well, we got that. Okay, so now there should be three trains for me to get in the elevator, right? That's three trains hanging there. So I can now enter the elevator. Yeah, baby. Ooh, looks very scary. This doesn't seem right. Doesn't match the descriptions I got at all. <laughs> what is that? Who's there? Friend? Is that you? Huh? Who's there? Look around you. Interesting, isn't it? It said that the cranes can grant you a wish. What is what is it that you wish for? <laughs> I've never been one to believe in wishes. Are you him, the collector? Collector? Pro? What are the names given to me over the many years? Ah, but we've got no time to waste on such boring, trivial things as introductions. Don't you want to know who I am? Oh, I know who you are, Detective Ito. Or should I say investigator? So hard to keep straight. I suppose it's irrelevant what you call yourself now, as you arrive exactly where you need to be. Hmm, something's different. Yes, yes. What is it, I wonder? Ah, that's it. You're like me after a fashion. You see things differently from those around you. The world is not as solid and changing as it is for them. Things bend, they break. Am I wrong? No. Nothing's been such the same since. Yes, yes, of course. The girl you murdered, Reyna. Was that your fault? I never meant to. Something made me. Something made me. Of course, it wasn't. Uh, something made me? Then you are a puppet, dancing at the end of the strings to tune you cannot hear. No, that's not what I said. I'm not one puppet. Are you so sure, detective? Do you really feel like everything you've done is under your control? When faced with the impossible, you're so certain that every choice you have made is your own. I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they've made for me. Which is easier, I wonder. The knowledge that you cause of all your suffering and joy is of your own doing or someone else's. I don't have time for this. Ah, of course, of course. Our conversation has tilted towards the philosophical. But you are not here for philosophical. You want something more tangible. I want information, facts. No, it is not my business to know what people desire. And that is not what you seek. What is it you want, truly? I want to know what really happened to him. No, it's not only that. I want to know what happened to me. Too. Nothing makes sense anymore. I am tired of chasing off the clues that lead to dead ends. Perhaps I can be of some help to you. But first, please indulge me. I have a few questions. I'm curious, so curious. You such a unique visitor after all. Yes, nothing like the others. Fine. What do you want to know? The night of your partner's disappearance. You got on your knees and begged for help with tears in your eyes. Not very typical behavior for a detective, is it? I felt so lost. I felt so helpless. He was in the sewer somewhere and I didn't see another path forward. I was desperate. What is this? Some sort of psychic test? I came here for answers. Enough with the games. It's no game, detective. I can give you what you seek. This is my price. That's it? If you wanted information to use against me, seems like you already got enough. 
Blackmail? How pedestrian. Simplistic. No, no. I have no interest in that. Then what do you want? Everything I collect brings me closer to understanding much like you. Only the puzzle I assume is considerable larger and the pieces you provide is well worth the trouble. Shall we continue? Do I have a choice? You already made it. You should show a little patience, detective. Surprisingly considering the effort you took to get here. The girl Reina, she's the one you've been chasing, yes? Let's talk about her. Why didn't you shoot her again in the sewer? She was holding your deer at knife point. Why didn't you pull the trigger? I didn't want to hurt anyone. Maybe maybe for, for police officers it sounds soft, but I don't want anyone to get hurt. Even with him at the end of a knife, I thought it might be peaceful. Hmm, interesting. Most interesting. Though she's gone, the sleepless nights continue, don't they? You've taken your pills twice. Is that enough to make a difference? Do they help? Does it make you question the utility of it all? Most interesting. Perhaps you've told me enough. Yes, yes. This is most useful. I accept this trade. In return, you want what... What was it? Ah, yes. That's right, a path. A path forward. I suppose it's in your turn to ask a question now? The mask. I don't know why, but I have the hunch that you'll know what this is. What is it? Reyna was obsessed with it. It must be important, but I can't figure it out. Ah, I see. The most interesting relic. It makes people do the most fascinating things. Huh? Why did Reyna want it so badly? This is a tool. Instead of living in fear of it, why not use it? It may be the key to help you find your precious. Though as powerful as it is, one cannot expect to use it knowing nothing about it. You said it yourself. It all started in... Have a history with the mask. My, the Shrine Maiden's girl. Her grandmother was the one who gave it to me. The very same. It gives me the creeps. Maybe I should have got rid of it. Don't do that. You'll never find your way without it. In the dark. Whether he lives, hmm. That is more difficult. The dark? That's not the first time I've heard that. What is it? Where can I find it? A better question is... Where can it not be found? Can you not feel it around you? Following you at every turn? It pays great mind to those with its walls. You know of whom I speak. The common thread that binds all mystery in your heart. It's that misery, misery in your heart. Reina. And if that's where she is, he will be there too? The girl's thread is a complicated one. He is very tangled. It begins at an intelligent agency called Omega. Hmm, I know it well enough. As I imagine any officer of the law would. The dark is a sacred place. It lives and breathes. Changes shape and goes where it pleases. And if, and it is the girls whose suffering determines this shape. Without understanding its root, you will never find a way. Or, it could tear you apart. Like it almost already has. What are you? A dressmaker, a cat breeder, a blackmailer. Seems like there, there's no one in this town that can agree on anything about you except for your name. There's no way anyone could have known what, what you do. It's impossible. So what are you? Take a look around you. It is not familiar. Can you not smell it? The stench of corruption? I've been here for so long. Longer than you can imagine. Feeling the desires. 
the loves, the hatred of huma of mankind flow through this place. For you, detective, I'm exactly who you need me to be. Now, shall we return to attention to the matter of hand? Our trade, after all? Was not for knowledge of how I fit into your story. It was for a way to clear the... How do you put it? Ah, uh, yes. To clear the dead ends you ran up against. Let us reconsider your problem. The mask, the dark. Zooming one without the other is futile. Now that the enemy of the dark, it will reject you without understanding it. And you'll be lost without the necessary tool. How will I know when the path has been opened? Ask your puppet master. I hope, I hope he's not talking about me, because I'm pulling the strings here and clicking on stuff. Maybe, maybe in the bargain he is upholds. You seem very awfully eager to help me. What's the catch? Something tells me I'm not going to regret talking to you. Paranoia? That's unnecess what unnecessary feeling. As I said, people fascinate me, especially ones with uniques, unique as yourself. You are a detective. I only give you the tools you need to finish the job. From there, ah, now that, that is the interesting part. I look forward to seeing your progress. Considering your debt to me, partially prepaid. The rest I shall collect at another time. Tell me, my little puppet, if you can see the strings, does, does your dance not continue? Until we meet again. Oh, that was spooky. Okay, well. We have done that now, so... Where do we head off to? The air in the collector's basement was stagnant and heavy. If I had stayed there any longer, I felt like it may have suffocated me. By the time I was there, faded into a distant memory. I returned to the surface and put my hand up to the shield, my eyes on the sunlight as it listened to the people on the streets. Their conversation seemed so pointless, part of the world I no longer belonged to. The busy sound of the streets swept the cobwebs from my mind, forcing me to remember everything I told the collector and everything he opposed, impossibly knew. I told him so much, but I didn't have a choice. Maybe he was right, and I was a puppet after all. At that moment, it doesn't matter. The dark, the mask, belong, both belong to a world I was not part of, now part of. Normal methods of investigation would lead me to them. Hunter's paths were narrowed to two, and I had no choice but to march forward towards the, the leads that have been given. As I left behind, one thing bothered me. How did the collector know so much about me? Was I really so easy to read? I didn't have time to dwell on it. In the dark, that much I had been all confirmed. But now, I had a means, however impossible, to find them. Two paths, the mask and the dark. Both were necessary and I had to make a choice on which to follow first. Chase off the talent agency in Tokyo's red light district or back to, to visit Mai, the girl I nearly got killed. Neither seemed very appealing. My logical side didn't understand how either would help. But everything around me cracked and crumbled away. Logic didn't matter anymore. I had, I had a choice. I had to choose. Or maybe something would choose for me. Okay, so we got two locations. That one there. We can't go back to apartment as far as I can see. We can't click anything else. Or go over there. Oh, well, let's try this place. Oh, wow, this is the red light. It looks pretty sketchy, really. Eh? Look at those things right in the distance. 
Uh, the Colossal mentioned a talent agency by the name of Omega here in Atlas Arena. Unless there's a big sign advertising it, which I highly doubt. I'll need to ask around to find it. Ooh, look at this club. Oh. Based on the dragon well, what? The chiefs and the general vibe around the building, I guess this place is known on the bar. Who knows how many other places around here the Yakuza have dipped their fingers into. I don't know, no, maybe I probably won't find it even if I did. 
Feels gonna miss you all the time around here. If you catch my drift. Care to be more specific? No, I don't. Don't think your delicate types could handle it. Let's just say not everyone is nice to the ladies in those places as I am and leave it at that. Still the part with questions like that and you're bound to end up in trouble. So if you want help, go ask someone else. Can I ask you something? Whoa, 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 I wasn't doing anything. You're a cop, right? Nope, you got me all wrong. I'm looking for a tailored talent agency by the name of Omega. Why did you think I was a cop? Whew. When you come to ask so many questions right off the bat, well, that and your costume had me fooled. You ought to be careful walking around like that. Oh, I got it. You sound some kind of performer, right? What are you doing looking for Omega? Omega's a watch. You, you weren't getting any work from them. Sorry now, sweetheart. I just have happened. I work for one of the best agencies in town. We had all types of modeling, performers, actors, you name it. Even though it's show women such as yourself, I have no problem finding work for girls. That is if you are fine with that state of fashion. My lucky day. That's the spirit. Have a drink with me, babe. And I'll get you signed up. I'm sure I can find work for you in no time. Well, like I said, I'm looking for Omega. A friend of mine recommended to all. Not be rude, not talk to them for at least, right? <laughs> you ask me, your friend got no taste. You shouldn't waste your time with those users. Not even seen the guys around for months. Word of the street that they ran a bit of a debt with the wrong people, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you didn't hear that from me. You know, where I. I give you a real chance, babe. Guess we doubt that. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, you don't have to ask me permission. You know, this is the same thing. Why do you think, why can I get that in my hand? I can talk between that. Okay, cool. So how do we exit this club? Oh, it's more people in the club. Hello! some good moment to duck out. Think you made the right decision to stay put. If you ask me, have you have you heard of a talented agency around here called Omega by any chance? Omega? No. Never heard of it. Actually not even been in this part of town. A friend of mine a friend of a friend invited me here for a few drinks, but she hasn't shown up shown her face here yet. Just started to think of some sort of weird setup anyway. I still have some pride, so I'm not going to tuck in, tuck my tail and run yet yet. Good friend, that agency or whatever you're looking for, and if you see that guy I mentioned earlier, watch your back. Evening, you know anything about a talent agency called Omega? I've heard they were based here. Are you insane? It's not like I'm asking you to take me there personally. What's the issue? You do know what the hell where you are, don't you? Omega ran up against some people, same people who own this club, and they lost. They go and act up a quiet body count, and I don't plan on being added to that. I'm not sure who you're working for, and you come at a bit of a sensitive time. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk out that door. Ow, she's probably killing too. Kill me. Omega. Everyone knew he owed the family a small fortune. The word on the street is there's been a little bit of sprinkling of any disloyal retainers. Do I need to spell it out for you? Oh, good. I really said too much and you should stop asking around too. You never know who's listening. Okay, so there's this person and there's this person. He looks like the club owner or something. Coming out of the 80s. Hey, can I ask you something? 
I'm about to tell him, tell him, tell him. He's just yeah. single to Mega. You know anything? Alright, I'll take it as a no. Hey, do you know this area? What? I have a few questions about. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. Speak is right there. You're gonna have to speak louder. I'm looking for an agency. I'm looking for information about a mega talent. Uh, what? A mega talent agency. Do you know anything? Oh. You really shouldn't shout things like that around here. Excuse me, miss. We were hoping you might join us next door. Consider an invitation from Amira. Besides, it's much nicer than you in this time. Yeah, in fact, we are happy to escort you. Oh, Lord. Sure, I'll go. Good answer, follow us. Uh oh, this seems like bad. Oh, uh, Kasumi. Welcome, come in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kasumi. I appreciate you coming by to talk. Hmm, your thugs didn't give me much of an option. But how do you think you're calling a thug? We're businessmen, you got that? Oh, I got it all alright. But don't you think that dressing in suits make you anything less of a thug? Say another word, you cop bitch. Enough! You say another word and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Now get out, both of you. Yes, boss. My apologies, the quality of help you find these days isn't quite up to the standing that it was in, in my father's time. Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they'll come around, even if I have to beat it into them. Sit down, relax. Can I get you a drink? No thanks. I see. Then excuse me while I pour one for myself. Why don't we skip the small talk and tell me why you're here? I'm getting to that. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As lucky as luck would have it, neither am I. Let's get right down to it. A short while ago, a couple of men dancers ran up to tell me you're a cop. I had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. Then I hear you sniffing around asking about one of my investments. Investments? You mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, why is it the cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? More curious still. Not just a cop, but a public shamed cop only. A shame a cop who has a history of, uh, how do you the word for it? Ah, uh, yes. A history of psychotic episodes. How do you know about that? We all have friends, detective. And when detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I need to know. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me as to why you're after the mega, this is say, you piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are, off in a bu bushes somewhere. Let's get back to on track, shall we? As you're not acting in an official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. Hmm. In, in your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question. Anyway, I know for a fact that there's no one coming for you. Funny you don't strike me as a stupid type, and yet you're willing into the den of vampires. If you valued your neck staying on your, on your shoulders, surely you wouldn't do something so reckless? Then we skip the threats. If you wanted to do something, you would have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know not to hurt a cop, even one in my position. <laughs> Good. I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors and you're definitely not here for the police buddies. Okay, I give it up. I give up. I have to know, what exactly is it that you want about Omega? I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Rena. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I wanted to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. 
hoping that art might be a bit difficult as I'm afraid Mega is extremely recent acqu acquisition. To get back further, you will have to talk to its present and former owner and guy's name of as it happens, that makes two of us like to have a word with him. Like two peas in the pot, us two. Unfortunately, when we handed over the business, he became a bit, how should I put it, forgetful about his outstanding debt to us. And the poor thing is so scared and he's ignoring my phone calls, probably thinking I'll do something awful to him if I find him. I can't imagine how he get the idea, can you? Maybe he prefers talking to a police officer instead of talking to me. I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works now. What's the catch? You never tell me where he was. You send me on finding nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You have to prove that you can be trusted first. There's someone else I need you to talk with. A bit of a soft target then. Pretty good deal, right? Everything you're looking is in exchange for one little job. <laughs> Just one job? Oh, don't make this more difficult than it, it has to be. You, you agreed eventually, so why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class, one of the best detectives on the force. You wouldn't let something so pesky as mortals get in the way of your good information, would you? I've heard about you. Or more accurately, I've heard a lot about your father. Hmm. As you should, my father was a good man. It's not surprising you know more about him than me. That'll change soon enough. I won't be footnote in the story much longer. My father always undervalued the power of information but i really get to know people and, uh, and associate with them you for instance everything you've done pa paints the picture of someone who is very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours don't let other people tell you otherwise detective i think those tra traitors are a those traits are a wonderful combination however it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they got you taking instead. Furthermore, I could just refuse your request altogether, but that'll be so boring. We both need something, so let's help each other out instead. Do the job I ask, and I'll tell you what I, what I know about. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in who is unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Such a shame too, I really wanted a straightforward relationship with this one. See, I help out a few things, in exchange she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we spend over new contracts and negotiate the terms of our mutual beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's neglected to sign the new one, newest one. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. Ah <laughs> ha! Suspended cop. You can parade your badge around as proof that you won White Knight in shiny armor anymore. Due to the recent transition of power, I can't do anything myself just, just this minute. The dogs of Tokyo Police Headquarters started panting whenever me or any of my men seen outside. I'm not, asking you, I'm not asking you to club someone's head in. I'm not only asking you to give them a friendly reminder to keep up to date on their paperwork. Whoa, that's a lot of money. That's a fuckload of money. Holy shit. And I'll feel more comfortable giving you information about Omega. Also, I'll remind you. When you when you impending review, it would be seemingly if it get got out that you met meeting with the accuser, wouldn't it? Blackmail, huh? That's such an ugly word. Yeah, I thought we were becoming friends. No, no, I'm just stating the fact of the situation is all. The business you're going into is the Cat Cafe. Oh my goodness, not the Cat Cafe, come on. Can't do that to those poor ladies. Can't give you the address on the way out. Wait, a Cat Cafe or, or what? A Cat Cafe? What else would it be? 
Well, a cat cafe or the cat maid cafe? What? Are we talking about the, the talking cats, the cat cats, or the people dressed like cats? Because a freaking cat cafe, the actual cats, adorable, fluffy, precious cats. Why the hell would I be interested in some stupid maid cafe? Cats, normal cats. Damn it. Now I'm all worked up. Look what you could got contract and sign it, and we'll talk. Places down this list. It's not that one, it's the other cat place. Welcome back! I think Tomo remembers you. He must be. He must be appreciate. Appreciative of all your help, you made him feel better. Though I had to stop the deliveries of. Even the smell seems to have set his bowels. Another quirk added to a really quirky character. Sign, maybe it's a sign that you were right about the fish. Uh, yeah, listen, we need to talk. Okay, sure, why the serious face? What's wrong? What exactly does the owner of the cat cafe get mixed up with the Yakuza? Huh? What do you mean? I met someone recently who gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it and it seems like you owe them quite a lot of money. Why have you been, ar why you been around this kind of stuff for a long time? I can't figure out how a cat cafe owner owes that much money. Money? Yakuza? Wait. You're wrong. What? You're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. Well, I've got this contract in your name, and I want to know why. The truth is, this place isn't all about board. Or, it is, but it wasn't always. I didn't borrow money or anything that stupid. When I was setting up this place, I just tried to stay above water. But the building owner kept coming to complain that these government-type health inspectors came knocking. I never realized how complicated opening a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations? All I ever wanted was to help out the kitties and make people happy. And she came by someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. I mean, I saw the tattoos. I mean, I didn't think that she judged people because of how they looked. I still don't. There was no way that I would have stayed open and kept my kitties if, if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer and things got better quickly after that. The building owner stopped complaining and all the permits fell into my lap. Maybe you think I was stupid, but most of the cats here would be strays or dead if I didn't help her. For a while, I thought I was saved by a guardian angel after all. She loved the cats and she was kind of friendly to me. It's been quiet too, the business with Tomo, Bowles and the first incident I had in months. About two months after septin help, when I was closing up shop, men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was a service rendered or something like that. It wasn't much at the time, so I signed it. I owed her a little, a lot after all, and I was doing pretty well. Only then they kept coming back, and every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract wanted more, more and more money. It's gotten out of hand. I kept, I can't keep up anymore. Wasn't even see me anymore to talk about it. Hmm. You didn't really think that you'd get a favor from the accuser for nothing, did you? I wasn't being greedy. I thought she was just trying to help. Mm, helping the only way she knew how. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. So cute. 
Please! You have to help me. The amount of money they asked for is, is out of hand. I'm doing well now, but it's, it's what get me out of business. You have to tell her. Please, tell her that if this place closes down all the cats, there will be no place for them to go. The poor kitties! They'll be put down. I can't support myself. I don't think animal services will let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if anything happened. I'm begging you. Don't do this. Don't sign. I'll help you. Sigh, damn it. It doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make her sign this in good conscience. Hooray! I knew a good prevail in the end. Thanks. How you get mixed up with this woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, I heard them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. Makes me feel sick about it. What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs is probably all they're capable of outside their grunting, outside of grunting and drinking. Call me naive, but I don't get how someone can be two-faced. When I started seeing her face in the papers lately, I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they were talking about couldn't be the same. I knew her. I thought, guess it's like you said, a tiger can't change its straps, right? Hmm, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap you up in all of this. But thank you for not making me sign. So, what's your plan? So, I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I can appeal to her kinder self if she really is a cat lover. I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? <clears throat> oh no, I really got, I uh, really gone and got myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. The contract was given to me, so I'll deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by cops haven't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I think that there's something good in her. Something I can't help but wonder if she's doing all these things if she didn't grow up into that life. And all the, kitten, all the kitties love her. When they play with her, the cats are such good judges of character. I somehow don't think her treatment of animals too much of her treatment of people. Ah, I'm suddenly starting to feel a little queasy thinking about going back there without, a, without the contract. Damn it, you really have gotten yourself into this time, haven't you? No point in dwelling on it now. I've made up my mind and I can't run from the accused of debt collections because I'm tight spot. Take okay, care, don't worry, my kitten, my kitties are never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. I think, uh, I think something I need to lay low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort something else. Okay, well. Let's head back to Yakuza boss and hopefully not be killed. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Come back! Oh, 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 oh. Honestly, little one, I don't want you to get hurt. Go home. The cat's following me. I think that's Tomo. Not that the diarrhea. into this one. Is she in here? Ah, oh, there she is. Welcome back. I assume you took care of the little nuisance for me? I didn't have a sign it. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. What? Do you think some sort of mortal crusader helping out a little the little guy? What'd she tell you anyway? She was a small town girl who couldn't keep 
up at the big meanies in Tokyo. Put it that way, I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did she tell you about all the cats that kept escaping? Or the ones who... into nearby businesses? How about the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? If it, isn't, if it wasn't for me getting people off her back and cleaning up the place, those cats would have probably been dead by now. What we have here, detective, is a trust issue. You were too quick to take the other side because of who I am, or at least who you think I am. Pity. Yes, boss? Take Ito I'd suddenly show her what happens to people who disappoint me. <clears throat> don't be too rough. I don't want to repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. I hate for someone to see a black eye or think she might have be worthy of sympathy. Keep her, ja her, keep her jacket here. I like it. It's very ch chick. Did you know my friends tell me all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy, really. As a matter of fact, there's one schedule for tomorrow. I'll be gone, of course, but if they were to find this jacket, well, who knows what they'll think. Would be a pity if someone recognized it. Escort her out. Good luck finding that stupid little girl. Oh, kitty. Hold on. Who is this? He's, um, I guess he's a stowaway from the cat cafe. He is, huh? I see. Uh, I love him. <laughs> oh, he nice looks so purring. Look at his squishy face. I can't have a detective beaten around with such a cute whittle face. What's his name? Beaten? Oh, um, I think his name is Tomo. Tomo? That's not much of a name for a man, is it? I shall call him Mr. Marshmallow. Oh, gosh, Mr. Marshmallow. <laughs> About that blackmail and beating. Oh, that, forget it. Really? Oh, good. Oh, I sorry, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talk talking to your cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, would you? No, they likely wouldn't believe me at this point anyway. My thoughts exactly, so cheer up. How can you stay mad at me if you're looking with those big eyes and those little feet? I look at you and I see a woman who priorities are all wrong. You don't appreciate what you have. Only what you're looking for. That's it. Until you find it. But then what? What's left? That said, I was serious about one thing. If you talk uh, talk to the cops about any of the business or my um, affection for cats or anything like that, I might pay you a visit at your apartment and pick up where he left off. But who wants to think of all the logistics and dismembering and disposing of a detective's body when you got a cute little whiskers rubbing against you? Huh? That's right. You do genuinely love cats, genuinely love cats. So why make her sign a contract that would end her having to put her cats down? Isn't the perfect cute so she seems? She might love her cats, but she has a strange ways of caring for them. She owes me a great, great debt, and it was right to collect it. If a ca cafe shuts down, I'll make sure the cats have a home though. I can't stay the same for the owner though. This job is about tough decisions, not legal ones like you, like your cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, not leave them at the door when you hand the case over to the courts. Uh, Mr. Marshmallow likes being picked up. Aww. He's very pretty cute. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say you have some guts coming back like you did. I thought you'd be another pushover cop that kept in my pocket. I, un I underestimated you. And in doing so, I'll give you the information. I'll give the information on one of my weaknesses. Hmm, it's funny really. I spent so much time making sure I'm not seen at this weak woman that all the men expect me to be. That I don't feel like myself sometimes. Something I'm sure you understand quite well. Tell me you. Tell you what. I'll let you have one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know many of yours, after all. In a different life, maybe we could have been friends. 
Stand out for now. Consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. Alright. Forget the caf the cat cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. What? What is it you wanted again? I wanted to speak with the mega company, Omega company president about the girl signing agency. That's right, our missing agency president. One of his many projects. Little man, I'll tell you now, I have no problem taking control of the business from him. I left him at the president to keep a few of his clients happy, a decision I regret now. Did you kill him? Where is he? Unfortunately, I just as in the dark about his disappearance as you, I'm afraid. A deal's a deal though. While you were out, I got an address of one of his old hideouts and the code to get in. Oh, that's where that, that place is with the code? The little doo -doo -doo -doo. I can't guarantee you'll find anything there, but I, I said I'll tell you what I knew and that's all I know. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you. Stooges? I like you, but don't push it. As I said earlier, me and my men kind of we can't afford to be spotted right now, especially in the area getting so much special attention. Special attention? Doesn't get enough attention on its own. Is what it is, but this isn't. The particular spot got its reputation and subsequently its extra police patrols a bit more re recently. In fact, I hear that there's still an ongoing investigation going out there. I hear you being intimately familiar with that area and incident that happened there my condolences on the loss of your part that detective by the way all the papers are rushing are rushing to make you out to implement or worse yet some sort of psychotic killer my friend in the police department say, say you two were close that no way what there's no way to do someone you love I suppose it's not too much to ask about ask what really happened was there really someone there that night thanks on the condolences but what happened on that night isn't something i want to discuss right now to yourself let's change the subject and go back to it took a bit of digging to find that address seems he was keeping a second hideout under a fake name now that we know where it is he probably knows too i highly doubt he'll be stupid enough to stay hold up hold up in it but I also doubt he'll be smart enough to completely clear the place before he left town either there's uh, there's probably something in there that will lead us to it right to him get what you want let Kazu know where the slime is so that we can straighten him out he'll get those fantasies of running away out of his head the code for the door is ooh let me I don't know if that saves. I'm just going to take a quick little picture of the code. Now that, 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 that came out so bad. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay. It's the only keeper lock on the street. You can't miss it. For what it's worth, I wish you good luck finding your little girl, but remember, you can't save them all. Oh, and Ito. Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in one place for the last few weeks can be a bit taxing. You know, I remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Oh no, it's gonna do it. By the way, boss. Oh shit, this sounds like there's a storm going on, sir, so... We shall leave it over here on today's episode of part 3 of Tokyo Dawn. We have figured out quite a lot of incidents going back and forth. We've met the mysterious collector, we've helped the girls out, 